Good morning, everyone. Please rise. Please turn your hymn book to page 30 to 31. Today we will sing hymn number 12, Majesty. Let's sing the hymn once. Majesty, worship His majesty, unto Jesus be all glory, power, and praise. Majesty, kingdom authority, flow from His throne unto His soul. His anthem raised. So exalt, lift up on high the name of Jesus. Magnify, come glorify, my Jesus the King. Majesty, worship His majesty. Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Jesus is the King of all kings. We should exalt and lift his name up on high. Let's worship his majesty by saying the hymn once with all our hearts. Majesty, worship His majesty, unto Jesus be all glory, power, and praise. Majesty, kingdom authority, flow from His throne unto His own. Is anthem raised. So exalt, lift up on high the name of Jesus. Magnify, come glorify, for Jesus the King. Majesty, worship His majesty. Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Please turn your hymn book to page 9 and refer to item number 23. Today's scripture is taken from Psalm chapter 99, verses 9. Please listen to God's word. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Psalms chapter 99, verse 9. Let's read it together. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Psalms chapter 99, verse 9. Let's bow and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Thanks for supplying every need of ours according to your glory in Christ Jesus. Lord, teach us to share your riches to our neighbor and love them as we love ourselves. Please give us wisdom to prepare for the first term examination and protect us from the cold weather. Bless our whole assembly and lessons today. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, good morning, everybody. Happy New Year to every one of you. And in your daily prayers, we should also bear in mind the souls of the victims in the Shanghai accident. Um, as you know, there are altogether 36 died and also 45 or 46 uh, badly injured. And so, in your daily prayers, pray for their souls and also for Pray also for the relatives and the parents of those who died and also who are still in hospital. Okay, thank you for your prayers in advance. Thank you.
Good morning, principal, vice and assistant principal, teachers and fellows. We are the deputy head prefects this year. I'm Kitty Chang from 5B. I'm Matthew Wong from 5F. The exam will be held very soon, from the 9th to the 21st of January. This morning, we would like to take the opportunity to remind all of you several important points about the examination regulations. Before watching the video clip, may we invite our principal, vice and assistant principals to proceed to the auditorium to enjoy the show.
listen to a pair. You may now start. Hands up, put down your pen and turn over your question paper. Before the end, sorry, before the examination, you should empty your drawer. Also, you should read the examination timetable and the seating arrangement carefully. The seating arrangements of the examination will be posted on the AAC notice board as shown by the screen. You are strongly advised to refer to the information before the examination. You can also download the examination timetable and the seating arrangement from our school homepage as shown here. Besides, you should all proceed to the examination center at least 15 minutes before the commencement of the examination. Please be reminded that late candidates will not be given extra time to compensate for the time loss. If you arrive at the examination center 30 minutes after the starting time, you must report to the general office. In case of illness, please notify the general office by phone between 7.45 and 8.15 a.m. Besides, parents' letter and relevant documentary evidence, including med medical certificates, should be submitted to the head of Academic Affairs Committee, Ms. Teng Man Sok, on the first day when you return to school. Moreover, you should always remember to bring your student ID card and students and parents handbook. Don't forget to bring your calculator as well if calculation is required in your examination subject. More importantly, you should remember to bring your stationery as no borrowing will be allowed after the commencement of the examination and no help should be expected from the invigilator. As for your calculator, Please make sure it has been pack printed with the HKEAA approved or HKEA approved label. You should put the jacket or cover of your calculator bag. And before the commencement of the examination, place the stationery you need on a desk. Please put your pencil case in your bag. Remember to zip up your bag before putting it under your chair. Then Please take out your student ID card and your students' and parents' handbook for temperature record checking. Please be reminded that you should bring your students' and parents' handbook every day, with temperature records being filled in properly 
on the last few pages of the handbook. You should maintain absolute silence once you enter the examination center. Also, please check carefully that no unauthorized materials, such as notebooks, are present on your desk or in your pockets. You should ensure that no sound will be emitted from any device you brought in, including watches. You are strongly advised to turn them off and put them in your bags or under your chair. To avoid suspected cheating, firstly, if you want to take anything out from a bag, you must raise your hand and ask for permission from the invigilator. Secondly, do not look around during the examination. Thirdly, do not speak to other candidates or disturb them during the examination. And lastly, you must not turn over the pages of the question paper and must not start working until you are instructed by the invigilator to do so. Besides, whenever you hear the announcement, Time is up. Put down your pens. You should start writing immediately. You will only be allowed to write your personal information, including your full name, class, and class number, after you may now start or before time is up announcements. Please remember to complete the boxes as well if MC answer sheet is provided. And for oral exam, you should remain quiet while you are in the waiting room and queuing outside the exam room. If you are late, you are required to report to the waiting room. Otherwise, you will be counted as truancy or absence. After the examination, please remain quiet until the dismissal announcement has been made. Leave the examination room and proceed to the corridor outside the classroom immediately after the dismissal. Lastly, please be considerate and do not disturb other candidates or as they may be waiting for their turns. Once again, no cheating is allowed. And please inform the teachers whenever you discover any cases of cheating or suspected cheating. Cheating is always a serious offence. One major demerit or above will be given and disqualification of the subject paper will be the result if cheating is found. For any inquiries, please refer to the examination regulations printed on the students' and parents' handbook or consult the discipline teachers. Hope you are, you are all well prepared and strive for excellence in your exams. More importantly, please follow the instructions and raise your hand to ask questions if there are any queries during the examination. And here comes to the end of our presentation. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Before the end of today's assembly, we would like to have a special session to test whether you all have paid attention on what we two have just mentioned. If you can answer our question, we will mark down your name and you will be given a small gift afterwards. So, are you ready? Are you ready? No? <laughs> okay, please listen to the question carefully. How can you be well prepared for your examination except studying hard? Please list out one possible way. If anyone of you knows the answer, please raise your hand. None of you raising your hands, we will randomly pick one. Um, 1B number 15. And to arrive the examination venue um, on time. 
Okay, you are right. Let's give her a real round of applause. Okay, so except, except arriving the venue on time and studying hard, any other ways to get yourself be well prepared for the exam? Please raise your hand if you know the answer. If none of you raise your hand, I will pick a number, okay? One Yi. Number 25. <laughs> Bring your own student ID card. This is too general. Any other try? Check the seating plan. Where? Where to check the sitting plan? We have mentioned it in the PowerPoint. AAC board. Yeah, you are right. Let's give him a real round of applause. Wow, it seems that most of you are quite familiar with what we should do to do well prepared for your exams. Let's give yourself a big hand. Okay, here comes to the end of our special session. Thank you. May we now pass the mic to Mr. Mark for dismissal. Well, thank you for the wonderful presentation in the special section. Well, besides the examination rules and regulation, I want to remind you another thing. As I said earlier, last year, 2014, we are going to have the fire drill soon. So remember to study the emergency evacuation rules as soon as possible. Now, another point to note to start, during the fire drill, can you hear me? During the fire drill, you are not allowed to get into the area uh, outside the supply section, that is the PTA corner. Am I understood? That area has been reserved for the primary school. So remember not to enter the foyer area outside the supply section during the fire drill. Now we come to the end of the assembly with the, uh, the teachers.